Hey guys, in this week's episode of Made Fit TV, I'm going to show you how a certain spaghetti squash can squash out the calories you're getting in your pasta. Plus, how much is too much of a deficit for your calories in your daily workouts, all right? We're going to talk about that in our Made Fit TV viewer email of the week. Made Fit TV starts right now. Hi, welcome to MadeFit TV. I'm your host, Jennifer DiDonato, and this is episode number 123. MadeFit TV is everyone's source for health and fitness information and entertainment, and it's where fit bodies don't just happen, they're made. And here on MadeFit TV, we like to focus on fitness, but also nutrition and a lot of other methods to help incorporate into your daily life to make it easy and convenient and affordable and attainable, okay? Because that's what it's all about. So welcome to the show. In this week's episode, we're in the kitchen again because I just love to eat. I want to show you guys one of my favorite superfoods, and that is spaghetti squash. Check it out. How on earth do I take this and turn it into this? Okay, this is spaghetti squash. A lot of you guys may not have heard about it before. Uh, what it is basically, it's a type of winter squash and it almost has a consistency of like cucumber, papaya, melon, something along those lines. I know, just go along with it. It's a little odd at first, but once you try it, it's got a crunchy texture to it, but it's a great alternative for the pasta, okay? And I'm gonna tell you the nutrition facts in just a moment, but first, how do you make it? Okay, you can find this stuff anywhere. You can get it in the fall, you can get it in the winter, you can get it at your local farmer's market or um, any other market that, that there is along with one of the big chain places, of course. But what you do basically is it comes in a hole because I already baked it, but I wanna show you. It comes just like this and it comes a lot bigger as well and sometimes it comes in funky shapes. But what you do is you can cut it in half, all right? And what I want you to do is you're going to spray a cookie sheet right here with some non-stick spray. You can use something along these lines or you can even use a little bit of olive oil. And you're going to place the halves face down on the cookie sheet. And you want to be sure that you're cutting the squash long ways because if you cut it um, hamburger style, I guess, uh, it's going to be deeper uh, crevices for you to have to fork out all of the, uh, the spaghetti-like consistency so it's easier when it's oval. You just preheat your oven at 350, pop it in for about 30 minutes to 35 minutes. You take it out, wait for it to cool about 10 minutes, and you want to flip it over and you're going to see that it's a little bit of like a golden brown. So that's how you know that it's finished. Now the real trick here to know for sure that it's finished is that you're just, all you're going to do is just take a fork and watch as I create my pasta. Okay, you're just going to fork it and see how it's nice and tender along the pulp right there? And you just fork it and boom, there it goes. You see all the stringiness just kind of coming out of it, just like that. It's really cool, so all you gotta do is just scrape it. It doesn't have to be uh, long strands because it just kind of all clumps together. But there you go. And a great thing about this is that it can be great for an entree, it can be great for a side dish. All you can do is just add your favorite toppings that you would for a salad. You can mix uh, some vegetables in it. You can mix in uh, some marinara sauce. Like I have this really great um, Jackie. I hope she's still out there. A long time ago during the summertime, she sent me great uh, samples of this pomi stuff. And this is uh, all natural. It comes in strained tomatoes. It comes in tomato sauce. But it's all natural, no sodium added, no preservatives. So I think it's a great addition to the spaghetti squash. You can even chop up some chicken, uh, grilled chicken, throw it on in there or one of my clients Nancy she loves to make her spaghetti squash with a little bit of cinnamon and some sugar substitute or a little bit of brown sugar so it's good for the morning time maybe replace uh, your oats with that so this is what it is so what what makes you know a squash so awesome what makes it so great well it's really high in vitamin C and vitamin B6 which is great for your immunity and also potassium and also really good in fiber it has about uh, two grams of fiber per cup serving which I'll give you the information in just a moment but it's great for your immun uh, immunity <laughs> and it's also good for your digestion as well so this is a good alternative as opposed to the pastas because pastas are very high in carbs uh, very dense and some people have uh, you know intolerances to that so um, with this the calories I know you guys are all waiting for this one cup I'm gonna show you what one cup is actually let me dig it out here one cup is only 42 calories so I'm just gonna kind of put it in here okay so that's a lot right there 42 calories zero grams of fat 
it's all sticking to me. Uh, 10 grams of carbs, just in this, just 10 grams. It's very water dense, but it's still very filling because of the fiber, which two grams of fiber, only four grams of sugar, of course, because it's uh, a squash, and one gram of protein. So it's not too high in protein. However, you can add the protein that you like and just get creative with it. Use your favorite toppings, like I said, and make a really healthy meal or side dish. And to top it all off, you get even more. It's it's just so abundant of food because these are all of the, uh, the seeds that I gutted out of it. So I'm gonna make myself some roasted seeds. And of course, these are great uh, for omega fatty acids and great for fiber as well and for your diet. So you kind of get uh, two in one out of this recipe. So there you have it, spaghetti squash. I hope you guys aren't too intimidated and you go ahead and try it. If you guys have any comments, please comment right below this video on madefittv.com. All right, now it's time for our viewer email of the week. Hope you guys are hungry. Okay, time for the Made Fit TV viewer email of the week. This one comes from Maria from Connecticut, and she says, Jenny, should I worry about my net calories? I eat 1,400 calories every day regardless if I burn 500 calories or 1,000. Some days I even work out twice. Some friends say that they eat back their exercise calories. So Maria's a little concerned as to how many calories she should be consuming if she's working out 500 calories, burning 500 calories during a workout, or even doubling up on workouts. Well, first of all, Maria, just make sure that you're recovering from your workouts. You don't want to you don't want to strain anything. You don't want to push yourself too much in one day, uh, depending on what you're doing with those workouts. But I think it's great that you're keeping track of that. It means you're responsible, and it's good to find um, you know, a way to track it and see the results. Uh, but you want to be careful. Typically, a rule of thumb, you don't want to go more than 500 calories of your deficit per day. Because typically, uh, one pound of fat, let's just say, is typically 3,500 calories. So if you're burning 500 calories every day, time at by seven if you're working out every day that's about a pound of fat loss per week now of course your metabolism could be speeding up you could have water fluctuations you could potentially be losing more than that per week but you want to make sure that your weight loss is gradual and you're not sacrificing any nutrients to help recovery and repair for your strength training and conditioning uh, days that you're doing this so just make sure that if you're if you're eating 1400 calories and you burn a thousand you got to think that's 2400 calories that your body is going to be burning if you're assuming that your net calories is 1400 your resting metabolism metabolic rate. So if your body is burning 2,400 calories with this resting metabolic rate and your workout, you want to make sure you're getting in, you know, a good, you know, 18 to 1,900 calories on those days. Don't necessarily have to eat everything that you burned. You just want to eat just enough to allow yourself that deficit, however enough to help with your recovery and repair, because remember, you have to work, or you have to eat to lose weight. Got to remember that because our bodies need that food for metabolism, fuel, and burn. So thanks so much for that email, Maria. And if you guys have any emails that you may want to see on Made for TV, just email me at Jenny at MadeFitTV.com or also in the Ask Jenny button right above on the homepage. I just want to remind everyone too, um, before you email me, try to look in the past episodes because I get a lot of emails that are answered in the videos that I actually do. And we have a great search key that Chris made. He worked really hard on it. You can just type in whatever uh, word you're looking for on the homepage in the search box right up there and you'll find it right in the archives because we have 123 videos on this thing. So I'm pretty sure that we have a lot of information that will come in handy just for you. So thanks so much for joining us in this episode and we will definitely see you next week. Bye.